Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're putting in some downspout drains here in the front of this house. It's going, you can see our trench going all the way down through. Found a couple sprinkler lines, very shallow. Gas line, very shallow. But we're tying into a storm drain right over here. And we've already found that pipe in this trench. And we'll dig and tie into that right here. A lot of roots in this yard. Trencher made pretty quick work of it. But where we have to hand dig, down here by Telly, this takes a long time. There's just so many roots in the ground and we're crossing that gas line again. So we have to be very careful and it just takes it a long time. But I'll tell you what, it's nice that they marked the area for us, even though we found the gas line not where they marked it. But our downspout here in the rear comes around the corner of the house right there down this trench you can see all the cable wires and here's that gas line this actually probably went to a pool in the back um, the pool's still there but i believe that they've disconnected that heater from the pool and here's the locating line and here's the caution flag and you can see if you can see my hand here this is only about six or seven inches deep down to that gas line which is really shallow but couple of sprinklers that we cut we'll fix those and we'll be installing that pipe here in just a matter of minutes back here in the back we're going to be discharging our water into that dry creek bed and that's just big rocks to allow water to flow down through the swale our discharge line has to come through this little natural area and there are lots of trees and tree roots here so we definitely like to use the trencher we can get it quite deep and it gets through here pretty quick. You know, if you're doing this job yourself, it's really worth it to go rent a trencher. They're only about $100 for the whole day, and it will make your life so much easier. Be sure that you call and get your utilities located first, because you've got to know where those are, because a trencher will cut right through them, and you could have a problem. But other than that, this trencher does make life easy. You'll notice that we've cut the sod off of the trench on this job. It's just to the right-hand side of the trench. And we did that at the request of the homeowner. We actually prefer to trench and reseed. We think that it comes out a lot better, but it's okay. We can still cut the sod. Once we've got our trench dug, the next thing we do is go back through the trench with a, a six-inch spade, this little shovel, and that cleans out the bottom of the trench because the trencher doesn't pull out all the dirt, but it sure pulls out the bulk of it. So again, do-it-yourself tip, rent a trencher. So here we are in the back of the house. You can see we're going to attach this downspout. Line comes out under the walk. Our trench goes all the way out to the back to a little riprap stream. Paul's digging a trench over here from the driveway you can see all the dirt on the driveway right here water just pools up right here so we're going to put a catch basin in here and the line will tie into the main line back in the back there <clears throat> we're going to put another catch basin because by the trampoline it's extremely low and water has been pooling up back in that area pretty straightforward no sprinkler lines in this one except for right here which we've covered up with the soil just from the trencher I've got a great crew and we're installing a catch basin here by the driveway. This lateral leads over to the main. Great crew works fast. We work so fast that sometimes we have to wait on each other. So let's move on to the other side. So, you know, when you're digging, everything should be marked. And you can see here's a marking for the gas line, which is supposed to turn and go behind that bush to the gas meter. Move your foot, Telly. <laughs> but, but here's the caution flag on top of the gas line, and here's the locating wire for that gas line. So we know that, that the locators were way off. Thank heavens they were, at least we've got our main trench dug over here on the side, but this is a tiny little gas line, and it might go to the pool supply, but either way, Hey, good Be morning. Careful. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This is day two on this install. Pretty much just covering it up. We've got all our pipe installed. And you can see we've got our sod back on the trench. And this line actually connects to the storm drain over here. And there's a four inch pipe 
down in there, if you can see it, that we tied into. But <clears throat> should work really good. Sprinkler repair, but raked it up, it looks pretty good. Sod's not real strong, but should be good. Connected the downspout drain over here, coming from his roof, across, repair the sprinkler. Still have a little bit of sod to put on right here. And cover up this trench a little bit more here in the back. We also resecured the downspout, which had been laying off to the side. And we also put uh, hoses here from his pump. This one is actually to discharge the whole pool, and this one comes from the back wash. And so we just kind of made a little adapter for him. Didn't really charge anything for that. Downspout secure. Nice connection. Just need to cover the area up. We also secured another downspout from the second story. This comes down to this gutter, comes across. And here's where we've made our install. Was we tied into the line right here. Came under the sidewalk. Put a little tiny drain over here to help catch the water that's pooling along the walk. Also, catch basin over here. It's a much larger size to uh, pick up the water that's coming off of the drive. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.